Hello and welcome. My name's Kurt. This is my fun quiz number 203. Uh, if you want to take part in the quiz, we do it old school. Get yourself some paper, pen or a pencil. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, scribble down your answers. Simple as that. I'll give you all the questions first, all the answers at the end. The whole quiz should take just over 30 minutes. So good luck and enjoy this quiz. We have six rounds, <coughs> eight questions in each round. And your rounds are London, bombs, connection, music, general knowledge and pictures. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cough. <coughs> so if you're ready, we'll make a start. Round one, all about London. Question number one. What London borough hosts a renowned annual flower show? What London borough hosts a renowned annual flower show? <clears throat> Question number two. Which London mainline railway station is closest to Buckingham Palace? Which London mainline railway station is closest to Buckingham Palace? <clears throat> Question three. Which was the only bridge across the River Thames until <coughs> 17, <coughs> excuse me, 1747? Which was the only bridge across the River Thames until 1747? Now there's so many you can't shake a stick at them. Question four. In which year was the Great Fire of London? In which year was the Great Fire of London? Totally devastated the city. Number five. In which historic London church can the coronation chair be found? In which historic London church can the coronation chair be found? Number six. What sport is played at London's Queen's Club? What sport is played at London's Queen's Club? Question seven. Which brewery established in 1845 makes London Pride beer? Oh, I love London Pride beer. <coughs> Can't beat a bit of London Pride beer. But which brewery established in 1845 makes London Pride beer? Question eight. What is the Central Criminal Court of England and Wales commonly referred to after the streets on which it stands? So what is the Central Criminal Court of England and Wales commonly referred to after the street on which it stands? On to round two then. <laughs> Bombs. Question number one. Who invented the World War II bouncing bomb? <clears throat> Who invented the World War II bouncing bomb? Great invention. Question number two. 
Question two. The V-1 flying bomb used by the Germans against London and southern England in 1944 was given what name by the British people? <coughs> The V-1 flying bomb used by the Germans against London and southern England in 1944 was given what name by the British people? Question three. In 1977, the US invented a new bomb that killed people while leaving buildings intact. What was it called? <coughs> Very humane. In 1977, the US invented a new bomb that killed people while leaving buildings intact. What was it called? Question four. What kind of bomb contains hydrogen sulfide? What kind of bomb contains hydrogen sulfide? Question five, what was the name of the project which resulted in the atomic bomb? Question five, what was the name of the project which resulted in the atomic bomb? Question six, which bomber was adapted to take the bouncing bomb? Which bomber was adapted to take the bouncing bomb? Question seven, in 2000, what bomb gave Tom Jones and Moose T a number three chart hit? <laughs> Just throw that one in there. In the year 2000, what bomb gave Tom Jones and Moose T a number three chart hit? And the question eight, what was the name of the bomber that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. What was the name of the bomber that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima? Round three, your connection round. So what connects all the answers in this round? Question number one, 5,280 of what are equivalent to a mile? 5,280 of what are equivalent to a mile? Question two, hematology is the study of what? Hematology is the study of what? <clears throat> Remember, in this round, once you get a connection, just check back through your answers, make sure they do fit. Sometimes you could get a word wrong. Number three. What is the furthest position that an army has reached and where the enemy is or may be engaged? So question three, what is the furthest position that an army has reached and where the enemy is or may be engaged? <clears throat> Number four. What one word describes the purpose of a hard drive or memory card? What one word describes the purpose of a hard drive or memory card? Number 
Number five. What word means to soothe, console or reassure someone after a loss or tragic news? What word means to soothe, console or reassure someone after a loss or tragic news? <clears throat> Number six. What word describes a party at which presents are given to someone, typically a woman who is about to have a baby? So what word describes a party at which presents are given to someone, typically a woman, who is about to have a baby? That is question six, and that may give you a connection. If not, we have question seven. Ankara is the capital city of which country? Ankara is the capital city of which country? And hopefully this has given you the connection because question eight is what connects the answers for questions one to seven. Hopefully you've got a connection. We'll find out later. Let's move on. Oh, round four is music. So question one. Who is known as the Godfather of Soul? Who is known as the Godfather of Soul? Bit of a theme going on in this round, as you'll find out. Question two. Who, according to Jimmy Ruffin, had love that has now departed? <clears throat> Who, according to Jimmy Ruffin, had love that has now departed? <clears throat> Think about it. Question three. Which soul singer was backed by the Pips? Which soul singer was backed by the Pips? On to number four. Who originally Heard it through the grapevine in 1969. Can't believe that was 1969. Who originally heard it through the grapevine in 1969? Number five. Which soul group featured Mary Wilson? To which soul group featured Mary Wilson? Question six. Which singer went solo after performing with the Commodores? Which singer went solo after performing with the Commodores. On to number seven, which soul band had only one number one, I'll start that again. Which soul band had only one number one UK hit with Reach Out, I'll Be There in 1966 and had a top 10 hit in 1988 with Loco in Acapulco. So which soul band had only one number one UK hit with Reach Out, I'll Be There in 1966 and had a top 10 hit in 1988 with Loco in Acapulco? And number eight, who is referred to as the Queen of Soul? So 
for who is referred to as the Queen of Soul. And there you have a soul music round. On to round five then, it's a general knowledge round. Question one, how many balls are used in a game of billiards? How many balls are used in a game of billiards? Never played this myself. Question two. Which French phrase used in English means each food dish individually priced on a menu? So which French phrase used in English means each food dish individually priced on a menu? Question three. What type of fruit is a Packham's Triumph? That's a, it's a, what do you say that is? It's a, uh, I don't know, what sort of term would you call that? What type of fruit is a Packham's Triumph? It's like, it's like a glorious term, isn't it? Question four. In relation to its size, which bird lays the largest egg? Is it a penguin, an ostrich or a kiwi? So in relation to its size, which bird lays the largest egg? A penguin, an ostrich or a kiwi? That's a good question, isn't it? On to number five. Which body of water is sometimes referred to as the pond? Which body of water is sometimes referred to as the pond? Number six. If something is described as Cantonese, from which country does it originate? If something is described as Cantonese, from which country does it originate? Question seven, sine, cosine and tangent are words associated with which branch of mathematics? Ooh, come on, come on, think back to your school days. Oh. Sine, cosine and tangent are words associated with which branch of mathematics? And your final question in this round, number eight. Which of these days falls last in the year? St. Andrew's, St. George's, St. Patrick's or St. David's? Which of these days falls last in the year? St. Andrew's, St. George's, St. Patrick's or St. David's? A one in four chance if you're not quite sure. So let's move on then to our final round, which is pictures as always. And your first picture. Can you name this actor? <clears throat> can you name this actor? I'm sure you can. Been in lots of films, lots and lots of films. Been in Oscar winning films. Question two. What is this type of pasta called? I won't accept spiral because that's not what it's called. What is this type of pasta called? Number three, who is this? Who 
infamous infamous person who is this on to uh, number four oh, which company manufactured this car Which company manufactured this car? Again, classic car now. Number five, what is the name of this actress? <clears throat> what is the name of this actress? Question six, <laughs> can you name this character? Question six, can you name this character? Children's favorite. Question number seven, what company is this the logo for? What company is this the logo for? And finally, question eight, what is the name of this politician? Still a current MP. What is the name of this politician? Okay, last picture, last question of the quiz. So you've had them all. Hopefully you've managed to answer them all one way or the other. And uh, now you need to find out how you've done and see how smug you are. So let's go through the answers and do just that. Start off with round one, which was our London round. First question, what London borough hosts a renowned annual flower show? It's Chelsea, Chelsea flower show. Question two, which London mainline railway station is closest to Buckingham Palace? It's got to be Victoria, hasn't it? It's got to be Victoria. Number three, which was the only bridge across the River Thames until 1747? It was London Bridge. Number four, in which year was the Great Fire of London? It was 1666. Started in Pudding Lane, devastated. Number five, in which historic London church can the coronation chair be found? Of course, it's Westminster Abbey, recently used, of course, for King Charles. Question six, what sport is played at London Queen's Club? It is tennis. Tennis tournament is held annually before Wimbledon. Number seven, which brewery established in 1845 makes lovely London Pride beer? It's Fuller's, it's Fuller's London Pride. And number eight, what is the Central Criminal Court of England and Wales commonly referred to after the street on which it stands? It's the Old Bailey. Round two, bombs. Question one, who invented the World War II bouncing bomb? It was Barnes Wallace. What a great invention. Number two, the V1 flying bomb used by the Germans against London and southern England in 1944 was given what name by the British people? It was given the name Doodlebug. Question three, 
in 1977, the US invented a new bomb that killed people while leaving buildings intact. What was it called? It was called the neutron bomb. Number four, what kind of bomb contains hydrogen sulfide? It's a stink bomb. Yeah, nasty old stink bomb. Question five, what was the name of the project which resulted in the atomic bomb? It was the Manhattan Project. Recently a film just released about that. Number six, which bomber was adapted to take the bouncing bomb? It was the Lancaster. 617 Squadron flew against the dams, became known as the Dambuster Squadron. Number seven, in 2000, what bomb gave Tom Jones and Moose T a number three chart hit? It was Sex Bomb. Sex Bomb, Sex Bomb. Number eight, what was the name of the bomber that dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima? It was Enola Gay. OK, your connection round next, round three. Question one. 5,280 of what are equivalent to a mile? It's feet. There are that many feet in a mile. Number two. Hematology is the study of what? It's the study of blood. Question three. What is the furthest position that an army has reached and where the enemy is? Or may be engaged it's the front and they're at the front number four what one word describes the purpose of a hard drive or memory card it's storage that is its purpose storage number five what word means to soothe console or reassure someone after a loss or tragic news it's comfort you comfort them number six what word describes a party at which presents are given to someone, typically a woman, who is about to have a baby? It's a shower. And number seven, Ankara is the capital city of which country? It's the capital of Turkey. And number eight, what connects the answers? Well, the connection is cold. And hopefully you've got that. I thought it was quite a good one. Hopefully you did. Well done if you did. OK, moving on. Round four, music. Question one. Who is known as the godfather of soul? That would be James Brown. Number two. Who, according to Jimmy Ruffin in 1974, had love that has now departed? It was the broken hearted. Number three. Which soul singer was backed by the Pips? It was Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Number four, who originally heard it through the grapevine in 1969? It was Marvin Gaye. Number five, which soul group featured Mary Wilson? It was the Supremes. She was in the Supremes. Number six, which singer went solo out of performing with the Commodores? It was Lionel Richie. He went dancing on the ceiling and all sorts. Number seven, which soul band had only one number UK, number one UK hit with Reach Out, I'll Be There in 1966 and had a top 10 hit in 1988 with Loco in Acapulco? It was the Four Tops. And number eight, who is referred to as the Queen of Soul? It is Aretha Franklin. Going on to round five, general knowledge, number one. How many balls are used in a game of billiards? <laughs> there are three, two red and a white. Never played it, don't know the rules. Number two. Which French phrase used in English means each food dish individually priced on a menu? It is à la carte. Number three. What type of fruit is a Packham's triumph? It's a pear. A magnificent pear. Number four. 
in relation to its size, which bird lays the largest egg? It's a kiwi. Yeah, it's a kiwi. Number five. Which body of water is sometimes referred to as the pond? It's the Atlantic. Americans use it across the pond, as they say. Number six. If something is described as Cantonese, from which country does it originate? It comes from China. Number seven. Sine, cosine and tangent are words associated with which branch of mathematics? It's trigonometry. Good old trig. And the break. Which of these days falls last in the year? It is St Andrew's Day and it falls on the 30th of November. Well done if you got that right. On to your final round then. Pictures. Picture number one. Can you name this actor? That, of course, is Leonardo DiCaprio. Been in so many films. Number two, what type of pasta is this? It is fusilli, not spiral, fusilli. Number three, who is this? The infamous Saddam Hussein, the leader of Iraq, the former leader of Iraq. Number four, which company manufactured this car? Well, that was the 2CV and it was manufactured by Citroen. What is the name of this actress? That is Scarlett Johansson. Question five. Question six, can you name this character? That is Mr. Bump, bandages all over him. And number seven, what company is this the logo for? It's the communications company Motorola, that being an M. And finally, number eight, what is the name of this politician? That is Michael Gove, the Conservative MP. So that's it. All your answers are now in. How have you done? Have you done well? I hope so. I hope you're feeling pleased with yourself. But if you haven't done so well, don't worry about it. It's a fun quiz at the end of the day. So that's it. Yeah, another quiz done. God, time does fly. So all it remains for me to say is thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking part. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you did well. I have lots of other quizzes. If you want to try another one, have a go. Lots of them on YouTube, all of a similar format. And if you know somebody likes a quiz, let them know about it. And if you want to uh, tell me anything about my quiz, please do so. Not a problem. But yeah, that's it. So just remains for me to say once again, thank you. And for now from me, it's goodbye.